hello automation and new alerts welcome back to kt sessions and in today's session we are gonna see how can we read a text from any web page so today we are going to use this website or a web page and we are going to read this price of the stock uh, if we talk about manually procedure means how we are uh, getting this value manually so first of all we are launching the browser then we are going to this url uh, means then we are opening this website uh, with this uh, help of this URL and then we can see this price or we can copy this price and uh, we can close this browser at the end similarly we are going to perform same steps in our uh, automation anywhere task bot so first of all we will take this browser open action this will open the browser and also this will open our URL so I have paste this URL. Sorry, next step will be the capturing the value or reading the value. For that, we are going to use capture action of recorder package. And uh, here we can click on recapture object and uh, we can capture the particular object. Like in this uh, screenshot, we can see we have captured this 51.6 okay then the next step will be the message box in message box we are going to print the value of the sample string so guys see here in this uh, capture action we have selected the get property action and we are getting the property of the inner html and this inner html contains the value of the variable here you can see inner it's inner text and uh, we have inner html as well so you can see all these properties and uh, you can select the properties for which you want i mean inner html contains value so we have given inner html here so then after that we will uh, close the browser okay guys so let me run the board once then we will uh, perform these steps again for another value so first step is completed it has captured the oh sorry it has launched the url now it is capturing the element see it is in line number two See the value is getting changed again and again after a few seconds. See, we got the input. Sorry, we got the output. Current stock price is 71.85. So it has captured the price when it was 71.85. So let me close this. Now it has closed the browser as well. And uh, this is the another window which I had already opened. So this window is opened okay so guys this is how we can read the price of any particular element so guys if we want to capture it again or let me show you this thing again or uh, if you want to capture the any okay, if you want to capture any another value so you can click on this start recording so this will open this type of uh, window and here we can click on record so it will contain all the element which we will capture so let me go to the uh, this map page so i have started the recording and for example if we want to capture this volume 2.6k okay i will select this you can see this is getting highlighted in a red color border so uh, if you move the cursor to any element it will uh, cap it will highlight that uh, see so i want only this value so i am selecting this value so i have uh, click on it see here we can see double click on label so this double click we can update it later but we can, we can see our 
uh, element which was required it is getting highlighted properly okay so i will click on finish the recordings the recording is finished see we will get this window so this is the uh, first element which was getting uh, captured when we were uh, switching the tabs so let me close this and uh, this is the second element which was captured and here we can see this has captured the uh, particular value of the volume which we need and we can see the properties here so first of all we can see the window for and the title of the window is RPS Stroke Market and uh, it contains a window application path means the path of the Chrome application so in case if this uh, title is getting changed every time means uh, it contains any value which is getting changed for example uh, if it contains a name of the stroke or something else so we can update this title as well we can go to the variable tab and here we can see this window for variable and here we can update the title for example uh, the, uh, this is uh, variable uh, this value is uh, getting changed every time so we will give asterisk sign means uh, this is the wild card so if there is after this uh, hyphen if uh, any value is there so it will capture that window and we can update this case sensitivity as well so let me click on apply so now here we can see this asterisk sign okay so now we have this main function or oh sorry main object and if you want to recapture it we can click on, click on recapture and capture the element again and uh, here uh, we can preview this so we can preview this uh, main object as well and action to take on object like uh, I have told you we are going to get the value of the uh, this particular element or object so I uh, will select the get property so we can select the get property and here we can see all the properties so which property contains that name that in an HTML contain 2.6k and uh, uh, this HTML in a text so it contains only 2.6k and that in an HTML contains extra spare so we can select this uh, HTML in a text in our uh, property window means where we are going to select that property so like here we can give the property name and also we can select the property name from here no need to type it manually so you can just scroll it down and you can select the property whichever you need uh, means HTML in a text and uh, these are some properties object properties so no need to select all the properties just select which one are required and try to select very few properties no need to select many properties because if you select very few or very less properties so this the speed of your bot will increase means it will take less time to identify particular element so these properties are like conditions means if uh, but these are like condition means if uh, HTML tag is this one, if Tom X Y is this one, and this and if uh, this uh, means class is this one. So all these are like if conditions. So if we select a uh, lot of properties, so it will contains lot of if conditions. But if we select only two or three properties, then it will uh, create only two or three if condition, and it will be easy to execute those two three condition and select the particular element from a web page because a web page contains lot of elements lot 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 of so if we want to see the element so we can right click on it or we can press ctrl shift i so we can see all the html of this particular web page it contains lot of elements so we can see all those here there are a lot of divs and those divs contains a particular element html text and also it contains a lot of html elements so if we give less properties it will be easy to ex extract that a particular element from this web page so in this case we are selecting the id because id will be the unique so we have selected this domex path and this span uh, html tag is span 
similarly there are some uh, another properties which we can select and also avoid these properties uh, which are blank which don't have any value so no need to select this value uh, no need to select this you can select this path as well and uh, is visible is true so we can select this as well if required I means sometimes if element is not available means it is not visible on the web page but it is available in the html code so guys this is how you can select particular properties of, of the object and uh, you can get the value and for getting the value you need to select the action get property and then you have to give the property name it's which property you want to get and that property will be the property which contain the exact value of that particular element in our case if we talk about this one so this pre-market uh, price this uh, this price 51.6 uh, we can see on this 49 point in this in an html or this uh, html in a text uh, these properties contains the price or the uh, text of that element thanks guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question